Good morning, members. It is Monday, March the 3rd. Taking a look at the charts this morning, we've got some pretty big price action going on in the market here. As as we kind of expected last week, uh, the market is building up to uh, some type of uh, sharp move to the downside, and we're starting to see a little bit of that today. Overall, looking at this market, you can see here we've had these uh, bounces off of a support trend line. This morning, we're seeing the equities market, the SP500, down 1.1% or 1.1%. Uh, one and a tenth percent. Anyways, we're flirting with the support trend line. The market is going to gap down into an oversold territory. It's still holding up, has yet to break this previous pivot low. But overall, it's going to be down in a uh, oversold territory. We'll see how things react. It's a big gap to the downside. A lot of times, big uh, gaps end up getting filled. That being said, the market has been really kind of climbing up and it's kind of hanging there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bit of a, more of a crack down today. Um, but I do feel as though we're going to see this uh, big gap. Market closed up here. We are trading way down here. There's a, a very large gap here to be filled. And because we are still in an uptrend and the market is going to be oversold, we'll likely end up getting in for a, uh, a long position in the SP500. There'll be a smaller position than normal just because I think the overall market is getting a little bit toppy and this big gap and these these recent volatility uh, spikes are showing that we're, market's getting a little bit tired. But Overall, I do feel as though we'll see it come back up and test these highs again. Topping is generally a process. It doesn't usually just break down and sell off. So hopefully we'll um, uh, get an entry point, we'll see a recovery, and we'll be managing that position accordingly. Now, if we take a look at, um, let's pull up the uh, commodities real quick. Let's go to the precious metals. We're seeing obviously some uh, fears overseas this morning and we're seeing gold uh, have a real pop and push to new highs this morning uh, gold is up about a percent and a half uh, silver is also trading higher as the uh, the fear the, the, uh, the fear trade everybody's moving into precious metals and bonds and we're seeing silver here in the last couple of days we did have a little bit of a breakdown below this the support trend line here and uh, we're getting a little bit of a pop up this morning. So this morning we're seeing precious metals move higher. Gold miners have had a nice pop. They're up about, uh, I see where they are here in pre-market. They are up uh, about uh, two, two and a half percent this morning, testing up near these highs. So we're seeing the precious metals move higher in our favor, which is uh, good to see. Uh, looking at the IYT, uh, this is a the fund we got short last week, and it should be moving uh, it's not. It really doesn't have any volume pre-market trading, but it should gap down uh, probably a percent and a half at least, I would think, in our favor. And uh, of course, we're shorts. So we want to see it uh, sell off. So this play hopefully should uh, pan out very nicely over the next couple of days. And if we take a look at the uh, uh, well, corn it doesn't have any pre-market trading in it either. Uh, corn had a nice run there on Friday into the close. A little bit of selling right in the last couple minutes there to pull it back down, but it was a very strong day. It was actually the strongest commodity on the, on the board that I uh, I showed. It was up uh, two and a half percent or so, uh, playing catch up, which is why the reason why we got into it. Everything else moved, but corn, and we're starting to get that move now. If we were to actually pull up um, another chart of corn here, here's the. Let me just pull up this chart here if I can get this one to load. Taking a look at the bar chart. This is the corn contract, the 24 hour uh, from bar charts. And we're actually getting a pretty nice move. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, corn is up another uh, three and, a th and, and uh, two thirds or a, a quarter this morning. Uh, so we're getting a, a nice big pop in uh, corn this morning money seems to be moving into commodities and out of equity so pretty much uh, those two moves are precious metals are short iyt our corn are all moving sharply in our favor this morning and uh, we may adjust the positions corn's going to have a nice move it'll be about a five and a half six percent move in our favor in uh, really only two days i may actually peel a little bit of profits off the table it was a fairly small position to start with i may sell a little bit of it lock in some money and move my stop to break even um, commodities are fast moving and um, I'd rather lock in some profits move the stop to break even and if corn just keeps on running here for a few weeks or even months and starts this new bull market then we'll uh, end up getting some serious um, gains from that but if it does roll over we'll at least have locked in some money 
and uh, and exited the trade with a small profit in the end. Now taking a look at the energies real quick. Here are here's the natural gas. We're seeing a little bit of a bounce and pop in natural gas. We did come down, get a little oversold here. I pointed this out uh, last week how price was uh, starting to pick up speed to the downside and more or less volume had uh, diminished showing that selling pressure had pretty pretty much run out now we're starting to see a pop and a break above that pattern overall it could form something very similar like this where you end up getting this downtrend it ends up getting exhausted volume slowly dries up and then you get a pop and you get a bull flag forming and then you see it continue to move higher so we could see uh, the same price action happen could see a pop here and pull back and then it could easily start and, and run up again uh, to the upside overall not looking to get into a play unless I see a really nice looking setup there natural gas is extremely fast moving so uh, it's got to be a, a really uh, ideal setup to get involved like the last two that we saw with it taking a look at crude oil crude oil is having a nice pop again commodities across the board today it seems like uh, money is flowing into uh, physical assets like commodities today and not so much into equities and uh, we're seeing uh, crude oil have a nice pop out of this bull flag with the 106 being kind of the next target and it actually looks uh, just a simple measured move here looks as though six will probably get hit likely today or tomorrow this first pop consolidation second measured move is just the up flag measured again brings us to the 106 and it uh, looks as though that level is going to be hit now if we just zoom back a bit let me just uh, auto scale here throw on some volume by price don't remember what's back here for um, the 106 area so 106 brings us right through this, this pivot area it's kind of a volume void more or less but we're it comes right through all this chop right across here there's a lot of price action through there there's some high uh, a high volume zone and of course that is the 106 area and that's likely the next stop probably today and then after that, I think we could see some selling come in and eventually uh, I think crude oil will get choppy here. Something similar like over here, you start to see it become very volatile and then eventually it'll probably pull back. Taking a look at the UUP, the US dollar index, it's moving down this morning. Again, this, uh, this ETF isn't the best uh, mimic of it. Uh, overall, um, U.S. dollar is still trading in this range. It's coming down close to the support level here. If it breaks down here, we could see the U.S. dollar really start to uh, fade and uh, continue to slide lower, which will help commodities overall rise. Um, again, we're not really using or trading the UUP at this point. Looking at the chart of bonds, nice pop in bonds last night. is up about six-tenths of a percent. We had that huge move down uh, late last week. And uh, this morning, or last night and today, we've got a nice pop back up, negating about half of that move. And uh, we'll see how that uh, plays out over the next uh, few days. If we just go to the daily chart of bonds, we can kind of see this basing pattern that it looks as though bonds are trying to form right across this area here. And uh, this could be some type of bull flag. This, this could be a nice pattern that's, that slowly kind of plays out here and builds more or less a cup and handle and it more or less would also be a double bottom depends how you want to look at it uh, it could be all the above um, overall this pattern here if this was to play out we've got a, a nice impulse wave a bull flag forming that second impulse wave will bring us somewhere up to the 140 which is the next kind of resistance zone and uh, anyways either way that would be a breakout and we could see a continuation a multi-month uh, move to the upside in bonds while the equities market starts to sell off. But again, all this is a process. This could, this all this could still play out over the next month or two. Uh, it could take us right into May. The market has a way of dragging moves out just because we can. It looks as though we see it coming. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. Again, a market top in the equities market usually takes months. It's a process. It's not usually an event. It'll get volatile. We'll see some big breakdowns, but you usually see price fade back up, and um, it becomes more of a game and a waiting game than anything else. Anyways, that's it for this morning, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye.